breaking news from Clayton, where Deion Broxton is just out of a court hearing brought on by the ACLU. They're trying to stop the Missouri Attorney General's midnight mandate to pretty much stop health care for transgender people of all ages. And Deion, this has really been just a tennis match all day. Yes, Sam, we just got news that the judge needs more time to review this case. Now, the attorney general, they made a late filing today to get this court heard in federal court. We went to federal court, and the federal judge said this must be heard at the state level. So he sent the case back here to St. Louis County Courts for the uh, case to be heard. Now, that hearing just ended about an hour or so ago, and the judge is deciding if the state or if the attorney general's office has the power to make these health care decisions. Now, the ACLU wants a temporary restraining uh, order, but like we told you, the judge will make a decision later next week if that can, uh, if uh, this can go through. Now, these are some of the hurdles that people who are seeking gender reaffirming care must go through if this emergency rule goes into effect. Individuals must go through disclosures of perceived risk of trans care. The rule requires three years of documented and long-lasting patterns of gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria is the stress that people uh, go through when they feel they were born as the wrong gender. Now, the rule also requires therapy sessions that include diagnosing mental health conditions. Only after all of this can minors and adults get, undergo trans health care. Now, both sides essentially said that the evidence that both sides presented is, doesn't hold up. Now, like we told you, the judge wants more time to review this, and when we get that decision, we'll bring it to you. Live in Clayton, Dion Broxton, News 4. Certainly a lot.